In today's video, we are looking at WP Vivid's database merging plugin. Before we get started, I'll give you a few examples of where this plugin is going to be really useful. Imagine you have a live WooCommerce site that is taking orders constantly or a online course with students who are constantly logging in, logging out, completing their coursework through a WordPress site or a busy news blog where you've got multiple editors who are always working on their next post, doing drafts. You've basically got constant input into your database. So imagine trying to perform a major update on one of these websites without disruption or risk of data loss. How is the best way to do this? So normally you're faced with a fairly difficult choice. You can try editing the live site, which can be risky. If you break a uh, big important website, it's going to create maybe a loss of your WooCommerce orders. It might damage the reputation of the organization. That can be a really bad outcome. The other choice, you can just copy that site to a development or a staging area where you can do your updates, updates safely. But in that case, you're going to have to put the production site either into maintenance mode while you do that work, or you risk uh, copying that site and then moving the production changes into the live environment. You actually lose the recent data. You might lose WooCommerce orders. You might lose progress that people were making on their posts. So um, either way, those aren't great choices, but this WP Vivid database merging plugin actually gives us a great solution for this scenario. So what this plugin actually does, it allows us to work in a safe development staging area while our live production site is still left live online. And while we're working on that staging site, what the plugin does, it saves a record of just the changes that we make on the development staging site while we do our updates and redesigns. It's going to save a record of just those changes. And then when we're done doing our redesign, we can just merge those changes back onto the live production site without interfering with any of the production site's data that it may have um, gathered in that meanwhile. So all of our WooCommerce things, for example, all of our WooCommerce orders, all of the cart data that may have changed during that process, it's still going to be preserved. We're not going to lose any recent data. I'll give you an example of exactly what I mean. I'm going to take you through an example of running this on a WooCommerce store and show you exactly how these plugins work and what the power of this system is. So I've actually put a link in the description if you want to check the plugin out for yourself as well. But if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. All right, for our demonstration of the WP Vivid database merging plugin, I've got idea test site set up here with a camping WooCommerce store. So this is just a Cadence starter template WooCommerce store that I've got. I'm gonna use this to demonstrate the plugin. First thing we will do is make a backup of our site. So under plugins, I'm gonna search for WP Vivid and get the migration backup and staging plugin. This one is free. You can install and activate this one straight through the WordPress repository um, right here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll activate WP Vivid backup and let's take a backup of our site here. That's just a case of selecting database and files, save backups to local and backup now. This will start the backup process. That'll take a few seconds. So let's just come back when that's finished. So that's all done. We've got our success message here. We've got our new backup uh, down here. We can restore that at any point if something goes wrong. So next point I'm going to do is add a staging site. So WP Vivid's free plugin actually comes with the staging function in the free version, which is pretty cool. So we can use that to make a staging site. Or if you have another way that you prefer to make staging sites, you can use any method you want. Or maybe if you want to do it on a local setup as well, that will work. Any staging method will work with this. But for this example, let's just use WP Vivid's uh, staging feature here and create a staging site. So we can basically leave all of this on default. It's going to make our staging site in a folder called My Staging 01 um, for this example. So let's go ahead, create that now, but feel free to customize those however you prefer. And we can see we'll start getting some progress here in our box. Let's just come back when this is complete. Okay, so that's done and we can get into our staging site through the admin URL there. We can go ahead and log in. The credentials are gonna be exactly the same as for the main site. So I'll just log in with my username and password. You'll notice that this um, has an orange header just so you recognize that this is your staging site. It's not your live site. So we are on our subfolder here, my staging 01. But otherwise this is an exact copy of your main site. So what we're gonna do from here is install the database merging plugin on the staging site and on the main site. So let's go ahead and do that. So the database merging plugin is a premium add-on. So you get that from your WP Vivid account after you purchase it and you can just download it from your account there. Also grab a copy of your uh, license 
for your database merging plugin as well. We're going to need that in a second as well. And then let's go to plugins. I'm going to upload that database merging plugin to our staging site and to our main site. So let's do the staging site first, choose our file. The database merging plugin is from our downloads there. Let's go ahead and install. After that's uploaded, we can activate the plugin and we'll see our merging plugin there. And since this is our staging site, we can only set this site as the development staging site there. We paste our license key in there from our account and click apply, okay. And it's gonna verify our license key and mark this one as our staging site. And we've got a success message there, okay. And it says production site is not set yet. So let's go ahead and set up the production site in a similar way. So back on the production site, it's the same deal. Plugins, we're gonna add new, we're gonna upload that plugin again. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go, install and activate the plugin and head back to the merging plugin there. And we're gonna set this one as the production site. Again, paste the license key in, click apply. Okay, and let's wait. And after we do that, we'll notice that we get a key to link our production site with the development staging site there. So let's go ahead and copy that one and head back to our staging site. So our staging site over here, we're going to connect to the production site, paste in that key that we got from our production site, go ahead and click connect. This will take a second. And then before the first sync, clone the production site to the dev site. So we do that, go ahead and click that one. Okay. So that is all done there. We click OK. It's going to get us to log in again here. So let's go ahead and log in. And finally, we're ready to start recording the database. So we click Create Snapshot for the dev site, which will give us a little bit of safety and redundancy. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And it's going to create that database recording task. So now all the changes that we make to our staging site from now on is going to get recorded here. So any updates and designs, we can take them and we can merge those all together later. So wait for this to get started. And we can see this is working just fine. It's green there, it's recording. It's been going for six seconds already. And we can see that green toggle there is set to on. So that means everything that we change on the staging site from now is gonna get recorded here. And then when we're finished working on our staging site, we can merge it and everything will be perfect. I'll show you what I mean. So what if I'm a customer looking at the live production site and I decide to buy this backpack. Let's put in our order and view the cart and go to the checkout and fill in all the details and place the order. So that WooCommerce order is in there on the live site. And over in our WooCommerce dashboard, we can see that Timmy here has ordered that backpack and that is in processing. And the staging site recording still looks all good. So let's say we were doing some redesign here. So let's go to our front page and let's do some redesign on the front page. Uh, where have we got? There we go, let's edit the front page. And imagine we were doing a big update. So let's change the heading here. So it's a big, big update. And uh, maybe even we change the heading here. Uh, the background image, let's upload a new background image as well. There we go. Select our new image. And there we go. Let's hit update and publish that one on our staging site. So that looks all good. Let's head over to our merging plugin and what we can do now, we can see our staging site has been updated. It's got our new uh, heading and with our new background image, we can actually merge our changes over onto the production site now. So we can go ahead and do that. Um, under merging, all we have to do is find our recording task and we're gonna merge that to the production site. We wanna create that snapshot there just as a backup and then click merge now, okay. So this is gonna overwrite our production site with those new changes that we just made on the staging site. So just wait for that to finish. Okay, so we're at 100% there. We can click okay. Looks like our merge is all done. Awesome. Task is merged. And let's have a look at our production site and see what's actually happened here. So if we look, view our site, hopefully we should see our updated front page. So we've got the big update here with our new background. And all the while that was happening, Timmy's order on WooCommerce here is on here as well. So that happened independently of our update 
And we've still got our WooCommerce orders fully intact there. So we haven't lost any WooCommerce data while we were working on our update. So that is the power of merging the databases. We keep our WooCommerce data that we achieved while we were working on the site, as well as be able to work on our um, website in a safe environment, a safe staging environment. So a really cool way of doing this. So that wraps up our example of WP Vivid's database merging plugin. So you can get that through that link in the description and you can also get the WP Vivid backup and staging plugin for free uh, through the WordPress repository like I showed in the video. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, but I'll catch you next time.